Welcome to Laura Secord's Class of 2021 graduation ceremony. After the past 15 months, I think many of us thought that we'd never get to this point, but here we are. You should give yourselves a huge pat on the back, a huge round of applause. No one in history has had to deal with the trials and tribulations that you have all faced in your last year of high school. We all honestly wish that we could celebrate together with you, and maybe one day we will have that chance for now, though. Let's celebrate all of your achievements as patriots. We'll begin with our land acknowledgement and O Canada. We begin this gathering by acknowledging the land on which we gather as the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples, many of whom continue to live and work here today. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties and is within the land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. Today, this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples, and acknowledging reminds us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of Indigenous people. Hello to the graduating class of 2021. To the class who will be saying, I did my last year of secondary school when the pandemic was changing the world. You are the class who is graduating in one of our history's most defining years. The class who had to adapt to a new way of school and life on a moment's notice. And you're also the class who will say, but I still got through it and I graduated. This is a real achievement one that even COVID-19 can't change. Recognize how much you have truly accomplished up until now. Your secondary school graduation doesn't just reflect the, this moment in your life, but it's a time to celebrate you. Every lesson you've learned since you were little, every issue or interest you've grown fiercely passionate about, every value you've come to live your life by, and every victory you've ever had, like doing well on a test, winning a game, or overcoming an obstacle. Today, we are celebrating you and what you have become. I can only imagine what a tough year you've had and how different it was from what you expected. And you are the class who spent their last year of secondary school in a pandemic, and you have learned powerful lessons that will stay with you forever. Maybe you've learned just how much you value spending time with the people you care about most. And in the years to come, they will always be a priority. Or you learn that when something felt impossible, you could and did find the solution. And even when the sharpest turn of events is thrown your way, you got through it. You've shown us strength and resilience. And one tough year later, you've shown yourselves that when it comes to your future, you can handle anything or be anyone. Some of you may be going to college university, or doing apprenticeships. Some of you may have other plans or are still figuring it out. But today, all of you should be proud. Congratulations to you, the unforgettable graduating class of 2021. Thanks for those words, Mr. Hashizaki. And now a message from our principal, Mrs. Helena Trichu. Good evening, class of 2021. Parents, guardians, friends, and special guests. We've been so focused this past year on everything this pandemic has robbed us of that 
Maybe we haven't considered the things that we've learned or dare I say, we'll miss. Like staying in our PJs all day or not having to get up and be ready at a rainy bus stop to begin school at 8, 10 in the morning. How did we ever do that? Watching movies until the wee hours on Tuesday night as though that's perfectly normal. Or messaging our teachers all hours of the day and evening and usually getting a response. This has been the life of the last year and a half. What we'll miss even more than that though is the sound of our thundering drumline or early morning melodies of our choir cheering us in, frenetic production preparations, creative art explorations and art club, Friday night basketball, fun, insane rank and run incentives, and of course our amazing year-end assemblies hosted by none other than Mr. Balsam and topped up, off with our incredible dancers. This story at Laura Secord Secondary began with the melee of the Cow Olympics, and we miss you the life that you breathe into C-Cord that makes it C-Cord. But we will not be melancholy. Instead, we will chalk this up to a year and a half of learning about hardship and trust that it's nearly behind us. To quote Seth, a Canadian cartoonist who inspired the tragically hip to write a song by the same title, it's a good life if you don't weaken. And they were recently recognized on the Juno Awards. As you move into the next phase of life, don't weaken in your resolve. Think about what you valued most about life that has been illuminated over the past four years, and in particular, this last one. Even when we get beyond this, stay grounded in that. For example, focus on simple pleasures like painting, singing, watching a good movie, celebrating small feats, like putting one foot in front of the other or getting yourself out of bed even when you didn't feel like it. Realizing that material things really don't matter in the big picture. And slowing down the pace sometimes is really healthy. So in homage to the Tragically Hip and their recent humanitarian award, let's get friendship right. Get life day to day for a good life we might just have to weekend, find somewhere to go, go somewhere where needed. We hope you found your place to grow here at Secord and continue to do so as you take your next steps forward. The world needs you now to inspire change and to make our environment, acceptance and love for one another stronger. Class of 2021, we are so proud of you and what you have accomplished Please celebrate tonight with your loved ones and know that you've done this in the hardest of times. You will forever be part of the Secor tradition of excellence and our family. Stay in touch and remember to thank your family, friends, teachers and mentors who have supported you along the way. On behalf of our entire staff, I wish you the very best. Thank you and good night. What I love most about Secord would have to be the sense of community that we have and just how accepting we are of one another. Being able to meet people who are interested in the same things I am and feeling accepted. One thing that I love about Secord is the diversity within the school. Hey grads, I just wanted to quickly share with you all the one thing that I love most about Secord and it's the fact that it's such an accepting school. It's a place where everyone's comfortable to be themselves and there's so much support from one student to another. The teachers and the students because they're always so kind and willing to help. All the clubs and the extracurriculars that I was a part of. Walking around, seeing all the teachers, seeing friends all day, it is definitely an environment that I'm going to miss walking into. Hi grads. You'll come to wear many different hats in your lives, and many at the same time. But, no matter which one you choose to put on, make sure that you are the one who picked it out for yourselves. And, make sure that they are of the shape and color to suit you.
Best wishes. Hey, class of 2021, you did it. We didn't really see you do all of it, but we know you did it and we're very proud of you. I miss you. Come back and see us and walk to the beat of your own drum. you stayed true to yourself and you've learned about yourself that learning is just starting you're about to grow into the person you were meant to be and contribute to society in ways that make you proud of yourself and that's what i wish for you uh, that fill you up as a person and bring your beautiful light into the world there will be struggles take them as they come but remember that you've got this your c-cord family is very proud of you and uh, congratulations and all the best good luck grade 12 we'll miss you uh Class of 2021, congratulations on graduating. This is quite an accomplishment, and I'm sure at times it felt like a bit of an uphill climb. Just remember that whatever path you take as you leave Laura Secord, sometimes it's gonna get a bit rocky. And if you're like me, you probably get stuck once in a while. Just remember to keep pushing forward and focus on where you wanna end up rather than the obstacle in front of you. Good luck, grads. Congratulations, class of 2021. All of your hard work has paid off and you are graduates. I feel very lucky to have taught some of you and worked with some of you on student council and seen firsthand how creative and intelligent you guys are. Um, I know you're going to do great things. Good luck with everything that you choose to take on in the future. We wish you the best in your futures and we hope that you have a wonderful summer. You've come a long way since kindergarten. You once struggled with your alphabet and adding and subtracting. Now you've mastered algebra and physics and you can write a decent five paragraph essay with citations. I hope you enjoyed the easiest years of your life because things are gonna get much harder. My wife did edit this. I didn't wanna say this. I had much funnier stuff. So good luck and have a great summer. Hello class of 2021. What a year it has been, but you persevered and made it to the end. Congratulations and well done. I would hope that tonight as you celebrate with your friends and family that you take a moment to say thank you to those who loved you and supported you along the way. It takes courage to grow up, to become who you really are. So be brave and go out there and enjoy your new adventures. Hey grads, congratulations, you did it. You put in the work. Uh, it was not an easy four years, but you did it, you crushed it, and now you are moving on to big and better things. And you have our support behind you 100%, whatever you end up doing. So congrats and good luck in the years ahead. Congratulations, class of 2021. I've been so lucky to have had so many amazing seminars and chats with you in English and French. Usually after Onich would ask a million dollar question and derail the class into discussion. But I feel very confident knowing that you're tomorrow's leaders and decision makers. And you know I'm not biased because Camden once said that I remind him of everybody's least favorite Game of Thrones character. Congratulations to my daughter Jaden and the entire graduating class of 2021. As you move on from Laura Secord and to whatever the future brings, I wish each and every one of you the very best. Hey Secord grads, congratulations. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful times in art this year. Whether it was painting on post-it notes or planning virtual art shows together, it was always the best time because of you all. Keep making wonderful messes, trust the process, you've got this. Congratulations, everybody. Hey there, graduating class of 2021. I thought I would bust out this classic from the 1980s to remind you guys that no matter where you go from here, you're always gonna be part of the C-Corps family. Take care of yourselves and good luck in the future. <clears throat> oh, hi. So you guys want a hand? Cause you, you graduated. Ooh, you did what like 98% of all of Ontario students did. C congratulations, that's, that's what you want. <laughs> congrats. <laughs> Hi grads, congrats to you all. I just wanted to send out a special thank you to my graduating prefects. Your help has, was very much appreciated and we couldn't have done it without you. Best wishes everyone. Uh, so apparently that last message was insensitive. Um, I apologize. Uh, it won't happen again. Congrats. Morning Secord. This is my morning routine. Doing a little climb here with Miley Cyrus. 
and appreciating your climb here to grad. So remember the memories that you made here. Come back and visit often. Gonna miss you guys. Take care and good luck. Congratulations class of 2021. Um, I just wanna say a special congratulations to all of my dancers that are graduating this year. Um, it's been such an honor watching you guys grow, not only as dancers, but as people over these past four years. And I'm gonna miss you guys. You know, it was only three years ago that I first started teaching a lower C chord. And you guys were one of my first classes. And I thought you were tremendous then. I think you're even better now. And if anybody could do what you guys did in the style that you guys did, I would be shocked. What a unique and beautiful crew. Congratulations. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful conversations, the seminars, the, uh, the honesty, the openness. You guys are going to do incredible things. Um, truly remarkable. You really do deserve a big hand. Congrats, guys. Congratulations, class of 2021. Always remember to take risks, to allow yourself to make mistakes, and that rehearsal is never over. Keep learning, keep growing, keep exploring, and don't forget to come back and visit. Keep in touch, I'll miss you. Congratulations. Now time to honor our grads this year, the class of 2021. First off, I know you will join me in thanking your parents, your guardians, grandparents, other family members, and your friends as well who have supported you through your elementary and high school years. As I think you know, besides being a teacher here at Secord, I'm also a parent of a grad from this class. So I know firsthand what a lot of your parents have had to deal with to help you get to this point. They put up years ago with your demands for Beyblades and Silly Bands and Furbies and Pokemon cards and tried hard to wake you up for online classes putting up with your computer and textbooks strewn across the kitchen table the last 15 months. Please make sure they know exactly how much you appreciate them. You are the group that, for the most part, was born in 2003. Believe it or not, that's before the iPhone was invented, before Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and long, long before TikTok existed. In fact, the phrase social media had yet to be uttered. It was the year of the blackout. Some of you may have been born when much of the province was in darkness that summer. 50 Cent and Outkast ruled the pop charts. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the Super Bowl, even though Tom Brady was still playing for New England. And it was the year that Friends started its final season. The musical Chicago won the Best Picture Oscar the year you were born. But this is where you are now at the tail end of this pandemic thing and getting ready to step out of high school and into this next exciting chapter of your lives where anything and everything is possible.
Hi, Laura Secord graduates and families. I'd like to begin by first congratulating all of the graduates that make up the Laura Secord Secondary School class of 2021. You did it. All of your years of hard work have paid off and you deserve to be celebrated for all of your efforts and accomplishments. Over your time here at Laura Secord, you've demonstrated unbelievable determination and adaptability. You've utilized these skills, demonstrated both leadership and persistence, and the result of this is the successful completion of your Ontario Secondary School Diploma today. The resiliency you've shown throughout your time in high school will only help to strengthen your ability to overcome any future barriers you may come across on whatever path that you choose. I have the pleasure today of announcing some distinguished awards to some very deserving graduating students. First, I'd like to again announce the winner of our Excellence in Education Award. This award is chosen annually by staff to recognize a student that has achieved a high academic standing and who contributed significantly to Laura Secord through both their extracurricular involvement and volunteer work. Our recipient this year is Jenna Cowan, who was recognized at a prior event. Jenna has demonstrated through example the many respectable qualities and characteristics that make her a deserving recipient of the Excellence in Education Award. Congratulations, Jenna. I would again like to congratulate this year's Laura Secord Rotary Medalists, Sarah Gowan and Jason Chu, who were also recognized for their many contributions to Laura Secord and demonstrating service above self at a prior event. Congratulations, Sarah and Jason, and thank you for all of your contributions during your time here at Laura Secord. Next, I am pleased to announce this year's winner of this Distinguished Governor General's Academic Medal. The Governor General's Medal, established in 1873, recognizes students who have the, achieved the highest academic average. This year's winner of the Governor General Academic Medal is Anissa Synergy. Congratulations, Anissa. Next, we have the Ontario Principal Council's Award for Student Leadership. This award is chosen by the principal to recognize and acknowledge with appreciation leadership skills demonstrated at the school by a deserving graduating student. It's my pleasure to announce that this year's winner of the Ontario Principals Council Award for Student Leadership is Lucy Taminski. Lucy is recognized for her hard work as both a student and a leader. Her work always exceeds expectations. During her time at Laura Secord, she's been a jump mentor, a member of student union, was very involved in our school choirs and drama performances, as well as a member of the cross country and badminton teams. This year, she took on the role of head prefect and her teachers have really appreciate, appreciated how she's approached her role professionally and was always willing to take on any task that was asked of her. Congratulations, Lucy. And finally, 
we have the Laura Secord Principal's Choice Awards. These awards are chosen by the principal to recognize outstanding contribution to Laura Secord Secondary School. Recipients of the Principal's Choice Awards are often quiet leaders in our building, and this year we have selected three recipients. Our first recipient, in no, no particular order, is Cassandra Byband. Cassandra has been a dedicated student that demonstrates a strong work ethic, a caring spirit, and a dedication for excellence. During her time at Laura Secord, she's been a member of our band, as well as the jazz, chamber, and concert choirs. She's also volunteered her time as a jump mentor, a member of student union, and our drama council. She could always be counted on to lend a helping hand and has been a role model for our younger students. Congratulations, Cassie. Our second recipient this year is Onich Samuels. Onich is a hardworking student that could always be counted on whenever needed. He could often be found volunteering his time helping out in the gym with a variety of tasks, whether it was helping to maintain equipment, running tournaments, or scorekeeping. He was active in athletics and was a gifted runner on our track and field team. He was also a member of our basketball, volleyball, and soccer teams. He always strives to improve and puts his full effort into completing all tasks. Congratulations, Onich. Our third recipient of the Principal's Choice Award this year is Dale Wallace. Dale has been an active member of Laura Secord and was highly involved in student life within the Arts Department. He's been a member of several of our choirs as well as our concert, jazz, and junk bands. He's also taken part in a variety of our drama productions. His willingness to help and his professional approach was always appreciated by his teachers. Congratulations, Dale. Once again, I just want to offer my congratulations to all of our graduating students and award recipients today. I wish you all the best on whichever path ahead you choose. The Laura Secord Medal is one of the most prestigious honors we bestow upon a graduating student, and in my opinion, it is the most special. It is given to a person who demonstrates the character traits of Laura Secord herself. Someone thoughtful, smart, caring, and courageous, and someone who is successful in the academics, arts, and athletics here at Secord. This year's recipient exemplified these qualities and more, but did so in a way that was quiet and unassuming. They often served as a connective tissue and consistent source of support required for an event to run smoothly. This person participated in nearly every music ensemble, sports team, and student group available at our school, and was still there at the end of the day asking what more could be done. They organized and ran sports nights, tournaments, and intramurals. They gave tours and workshops to prospective students and volunteered to organize instruments and music after school. They also held the prestigious leadership position as assistant head prefect this year. When I asked the staff for their thoughts about Naya Fiorino, they all said the same things. She's a master at juggling a million different things. She's always available when needed, shows up with enthusiasm and a strong work ethic. Naya is a team player who quietly leads from behind, an intelligent, caring individual who you can always rely on. She didn't need the validation of being recognized for her nearly perfect attendance in every extracurricular music ensemble. Never boasted about the multiple subject awards she won year after year. After school, Naya would always be seen around the building, oftentimes helping out younger children in the Niagara Instrumental Music Program. She'd make sure their strings were in tune, help make sure that they had everything they needed for the rehearsal. And oftentimes there was a lineup as the children were excitedly waiting to tell Naya about their day. The calm understanding and attentiveness that Naya brought to those situations is something I've come to admire and respect over the years as I've gotten to know her. As Naya moves on to study for health sciences in university next year, I'm confident she has what it takes to be successful no matter what challenges she faces. Congratulations, Naya, and thank you for four years of excellence in every aspect of student life here at Secord. We wish you all the best. Hello, Secord families, staff, and class of 2021. It is my honor to be able to introduce this year's valedictorian. I first met this student when she came in to audition for our DNA program, and in that first kind of formal encounter, she was able to show me her potential as a dancer, but I quickly learned that her potential did not stop there. 
This student has been an active member in our school community all four years of high school, and she has been dedicated to improving student life here at Secord. She is a natural leader that respects others, and she always seems calm, even when she isn't. She is a self-motivated and driven student, which has allowed her to excel both academically and extracurricularly. She will be the first student in Secord history to ever be both valedictorian and the receiver of the Excellence in Education Award. It is my absolute pleasure to announce the valedictorian for Laura Secord, class of 2021, as Jenna Cowan. Good evening, everyone, the Secord staff, the graduating class, and all of our friends and families. I'd like to start out by simply saying, we made it. We have definitely been through a lot in the last two years, and standing in my bedroom delivering a speech via video was definitely not how I pictured the teenage dream of 2021 to be going, but here we are. Since we saw each other last completely in person, we have changed ever so drastically, but in essence, we are still young, intelligent minds that just happen to be going into the big, intimidating world in what seems like a flash of time. When I picture some of you, I can still think back to our little naive grade 9 smiles, eyes beaming with nerves and anticipation as we first entered the cafeteria to meet our jump mentors. With everything COVID-19 has affected, I know for sure that it could not crush our school spirit. I can still see the drive and excitement ignited in us when it comes to our activities. Even though sometimes faded and understandably so due to the situation, I truly believe that Secord has some of the most stunning individuals who are resilient and capable in the face of adversity. That's something I have always admired about our class. We are passionate for everything we put our minds to. Taking a look at any team or club photo, it is evident that we are rich with leaders and those excited to participate. One moment that resonates with me most was during grade wars in our grade 10 year. I can so clearly picture in my mind the image of overflowing grade 10s on the stage in our wacky beach day outfits. I have never seen that level of commitment and, con and confidence to this scale, and that was only two years into our high school career. Moments like those remind me why we are truly unstoppable. Secord not only prepared us with the education to allow us to strive in wherever we go next, but also provided the opportunity for all of us to have that same beach day confidence in a multitude of clubs and teams. I'm sure teachers and staff can attest to this when I say that this is the one of the most involved classes in Secord's recent memory. Maybe it's because Secord is one of the most accepting schools I've ever heard of, but I think it is safe to say that everyone found their place here, mingling with people that fit into different groups. I mean, what other school could I visit where it was normal to walk down the hallways after school and wave to those practicing Mamma Mia harmonies, checking in on what's cooking in the dance studio, wondering what ensemble is meeting in the band room, or feeling the energy radiating from the dedicating athletes in the gym. Our atmosphere completely lit me up inside, which, is, which made some of the most grueling 14-hour school days so much easier to get through. Comfort. That's the one word I can use to describe the uniqueness of C-chord. I wish I was able to cuddle with my friends while listening to the amazing coffeehouse performers. I wish I could laugh all day while being wildly awful at volleyball during the Christmas volleyball tournament. I wish we could have been loud together at the grape and wine parade. I wish I could have one more calf cookie. I think we can all agree on that last one. The list goes on. There is no denying that we'd missed out on the most defining characteristics of Secord in the grade 12 experience. However, there is one thing I don't wish for. I don't wish to forget the versions of ourselves we once were even if we have already grown past them. Remembering how you got to where you are now is valuable because we are still bound to develop even further into adults. The nostalgia will only grow along with us. We always hear about character development and self-exploration, but recognizing this change has been nearly impossible until now. I have seen so many of us blossom into these wonderful souls that are capable of so much more. I picture your faces and I see hearts that have been forced to grow up sooner than expected because of this. Hearts that know how to overcome adversity, People that have grown so much that it's incredible to see the young adults we've transformed into, and this is only the beginning. If this is how exemplary we've become already, this world better watch out, because the most resilient, persistent, leading, emotionally intelligent, and kind individuals are coming to take it by storm. Thank you. For the past four years, you've been a big part of the Laura Secord community, involved in our clubs, our teams, our productions, when we were still in the building, we heard you playing cello in the halls. We stepped around your dance moves and we jumped out of the way as you leapt over hurdles indoors. As a staff, we've all enjoyed watching you grow, 
We're going to miss you, but we'll watch from afar as you move on to bigger and better things. This year's class will be a really memorable one for me, by the way, of course. My daughter is part of this class, but it's also because it will be my 23rd and my last graduation at Laura Secord as I'm retiring at the end of June. On behalf of all the Secord staff, I hope you all keep in touch. I have to get going now. I need to pick up a graduation cake for tonight. You know, when I ordered the cake a couple of weeks ago, the baker said, what do you want it to say? So I'm really excited to get to the bakery to pick it up because I've never had a talking cake before. Congratulations to the class of 2021. This song is for you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but an answer learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end that's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Happy graduation. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while it's something unpredictable but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life